friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Yeah. Happy Monday, it's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. We have breakfast, lunch, and cookies. Who doesn't love a good fall inspired cookie. So if you're excited for today's meal prep, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do meal preps every single Monday. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my brand new 2022 calendar. This is the only calendar you need for 2022. Track your life, your activity, food, water, self-care, and set your goals all in one easy, beautiful monthly calendar. So definitely check that out. It's currently available. It is limited edition, so grab it while you can. And while you're on my website, you'll find my four recipe eBooks as well as nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you'd like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and the link to head on over, join us on Facebook are also down in that description box. We'd love to have you join our Facebook community. So without further ado, let's jump into meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I am making pumpkin baked oatmeal. Doesn't that sound amazing for fall and for winter? Let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need rolled oats, sweetener of your choice. As always, I am using my Lakanto monk fruit, my very, very favorite sweetener. In fact, this is one that does not have points on personal points. So highly recommend. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off for you. Also some almond milk, baking powder, and I'm using reduced sugar craisins, salt, cinnamon, vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste. That's what I chose to use just because I have it on hand. Pumpkin pie spice, canned pumpkin, pecans, and some egg whites. So to get started on the baked oatmeal, I have two cups of rolled oats. You probably could use quick cut, but I'm going to follow the original recipe, which does call for regular rolled oats. You can also use gluten-free. Three tablespoons of sweetener. So I'm going to do three tablespoons of my monk fruit. Half of a teaspoon of baking powder. This is a full teaspoon, so I'm going to do half. I have two tablespoons of reduced sugar craisins. Now, this as well as the pecans is optional. The points on my website will include the pecans and the craisins. I like having the extra bit of protein and healthy fats in the pecans. So this is three tablespoons. You can certainly omit one or both of those. Just make sure that you recalculate the points. I'm going to add in just a pinch of salt, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to do about a tablespoon because I really like cinnamon. And I'm also going to do about a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Go ahead and get those dried ingredients stirred together really well. Into a small bowl here, we're going to crack three eggs. We only want the white, or you can simply use egg whites. You want about a half of a cup, which is about three large egg whites. To the dry ingredients, I'm going to add the egg whites one cup of almond milk, one cup of pumpkin puree, and some vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. Give that a quick stir, make sure everything is incorporated. You want to make sure that all of your rolled oats are saturated with liquid. Into an eight by eight, seven by seven, nine by nine, it really doesn't matter. Baking dish sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add all of the baked oatmeal mixture. Spread that out nice and even in the bottom of your baking dish. We're going to cover this with some saran wrap and put this in the refrigerator. The longer you can keep it in, the better. I'm going to finish my complete meal prep and clean up, and then we'll come back and pop this into the oven. Five hours later. I just pulled the baked oatmeal out of the refrigerator. We're going to pop it in our 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until it is baked completely through. All right, the pumpkin baked oatmeal is out of the oven. I almost 
burnt it. You can see a little crispy critters here in the corner, but it still looks incredible. It smells incredible. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. I can't wait for this. This is going to be a nice addition to breakfast. I will probably pair this with some eggs and some fruit, but I love a good baked oatmeal this time of year. For my lunch this week, I am making a meatball rice skillet with peas. I'm really excited for this. This is a complete lunch. You have protein, carbs, healthy fats. You have everything in here, including your veggies. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need rice of your choice. I always use organic jasmine rice. It's my very favorite. You're also going to need some white wine. So I just have some Sauvignon Blanc, some type of oil. I have avocado oil, flat leaf parsley, an onion, garlic, an egg, salt and pepper, chicken stock, 99% ground turkey, or you can substitute frozen turkey meatballs. There just isn't really that I really, really like, so I'm just going to make my own. If you do substitute for frozen meatballs, you can omit the egg as well. I'm just using that as a binder for my meatballs, and then you're going to need some frozen peas. So the first thing I'm going to do is make up my meatballs with the ground turkey, the egg, some salt and pepper. I'm going to chop up my onion, mince my garlic, and then chop some fresh parsley. So for the meatballs, I have my pound of 99% ground turkey. I'm going to add in one egg and some salt and pepper. And then using my hands, I'm going to mix all of this together for my meatballs put them here on a quarter sheet pan. I bought these quarter sheet pans off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for you. I love them. I think I'm actually going to go order another two pack. Then I'm going to pop these in my freezer while we put together the rest of the recipe. That way the meatballs have a chance to somewhat freeze, which will make cooking them a little bit better since the original recipe does call for frozen meatballs. So I'm going to pop my meatballs into the freezer. I have one tablespoon of avocado oil heated up in a pan. You just wanna get that so that it's nice and hot. And then we're going to add in the chopped up onion. We're going to let this cook for just a couple of minutes until the onion starts to become translucent. Make sure that the skillet that you're choosing is large because everything is cooked for this entire recipe in one skillet. Now we're going to add in our garlic, some salt and pepper, and let that garlic cook until fragrant. Add in your one cup of uncooked rice. Give that a quick stir. Let it kind of get coated in that oil and mix with the onions and garlic. And then one quarter cup of that dry white wine. Stir that together. Allow this to cook until the rice has absorbed all of the liquid in the pan. Add in your two and a quarter cup chicken broth. And then I'm going to add in my meatballs. We're going to allow this to come to a boil, pop a lid on, cook it for 20 to 22 minutes or until your rice is tender. So the rice is done, the meatballs are done. This looks delicious, it smells really, really good. So we're going to add in the peas and the parsley and then give that a stir just until combined. Pop your lid on for just a couple minutes until your peas are warmed through. So it is done. It looks and smells amazing. I'm actually going to store it in one of my large storage containers. Let's go over the points and calories. And remember, these are my points based on my personal WW program, but I will include the link on my website that will automatically recalculate all of today's recipes into your points. So that is super exciting. Obviously the calories won't change, but let's go over points and calories. So the entire batch makes six servings. It is two meatballs per serving for me because I did get 12 meatballs out of my batch. Now you could make smaller meatballs and then you would have more per serving, but the entire recipe is only six servings. So that is a good amount 
Like I said, this is a nice complete lunch for you. Pair it with some fruit or some extra vegetables. It is six points for me for one serving, which is not bad at all. And it's 237 calories. So I can't wait to have this for my lunch all week. For a sweet treat this week, I am making caramel pumpkin cookies. I'm so excited for these. I love a good cookie. Let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some light butter, brown sugar, and granulated sugar substitute. Of course, both of mine are Lakanto. This is the Lakanto Golden. It is amazing. It tastes just like regular brown sugar. And then Lakanto granulated as always. And don't forget, this is linked down below for the Lakanto website for 15% off. And then you're going to need all purpose flour, baking soda, and I have the Lily's salted caramel chocolate chip. So that is what I'm using as the caramel in the recipe. And it's going to give it that salted caramel and chocolate vibe. Pumpkin puree, pecans, salt, and vanilla extract. So the first thing we're going to do is mix together the dry ingredients. So we have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to add a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. And then give that a stir. You wanna make sure that's all incorporated very well. Into a large mixing bowl, we're going to add one cup of light butter softened. Three quarters of a cup of monk fruit, three quarters of a cup of golden sweetener. And then with our handheld mixer, we are going to mix this together until combined. Once creamy, go ahead and turn off the mixer. Add in your one half of a cup of pumpkin puree and your vanilla extract. And then we're just going to stir this with a spoon to mix. We're going to add half of the flour mixture, and then using our handheld mixer, we're going to mix to incorporate. Add in the other half of the flour mixer, mixture, and then mix again until fully incorporated. Using your spoon or a spatula, go ahead and add in your four tablespoons of chopped pecans and 100 of the Lily's salted caramel chips. And then using your spoon or spatula, mix those in. Onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We're going to use a cookie scoop. I bought this three pack off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. It's super affordable and you get three different sizes. And using your cookie scoop, go ahead and scoop out your cookies. My goal is 30, but I can go ahead and figure points and calories based on however many cookies I end up with. All right, our first batch is going in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a second cookie sheet, line it with parchment, and scoop out the remainder of my cookies. So I ended up with 25 cookies total, so my points and calories will be based on 25 cookies. I just pulled the first batch of the cookies out. These are nice, thick, big cookies, and they smell literally like heaven, like fall vibes. And look at that chocolate melty goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to allow these to cool completely. When the other batch comes out of the oven, we'll go over points and calories. Cookies are out, and again, these smell incredible. I'm really happy with the size. These are good size cookies. They literally look like they came from your local bakery. Again, I made 25 cookies total. Mine are three points a piece based on my personal points. Again, the recipe will automatically calculate to your points on my website, so make sure that you click the link on the website. They are 78 calories a piece when making 25 cookies. Now, if you made 30 cookies, they drop in calories to 65. I don't know if the points would stay the same or not, but there isn't much difference between 30 and 25 cookies. So if you're after just a bigger cookie, I would definitely shoot for the 25. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I will tell you, all of them are incredible. I'm loving every single one of them. Can't wait to have them all week. All of today's recipes will be on my website that will be linked down in the description box. Click the link, it'll convert the recipe into your personal points 
which is amazing. Also check out that description box for my 2022 calendar, four recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy Monday. See you next time. Bye.